um, you write that, you know, women, uh, you know, m- people don't appraise men sympathetically and there's, there's some data behind this. So, you know, Kate Mann wrote, um, down girl and coined the phrase sympathy, you know, the idea that people are more sympathetic to, to men than women, but the opposite is true. Um, <laughs> women are regarded as in need of more sympathy than, than men. Um, so contra man, uh, this is actually from a, a quote from an article that Bo Weingart and Corey Clark wrote. Um, people are less willing to harm a female than a male. Women receive more help than men. Those who harm women are punished more severely than those who harm men. And women are, are punished less severely than men for the same crimes. There's some interesting stuff where if you mm-hmm. say that you're opening a homeless shelter for women versus a homeless shelter for men, people are much more willing to to give money. There's much more uh, resources for women who are uh, are poor, and also uh, women are much more likely to be taken in by somebody of the opposite sex who who wants to um, uh, to be with them compared to like homeless men, for example. Uh, so there is there is a whole lot of evidence, but the 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 idea remains that men are in some way favored over women. Um, yeah, I mean, but I agree with the first part of your point. Um... One of the it, it got cut in the final version for various silly reasons and nothing to do with me. But I actually wrote about a lot of trans men's memoirs, which are very interesting because they're largely under discussed compared to trans women. Um, yeah. And a lot of and one of the things that was said in one of the trans men's memoirs was, um, and this was a woman who passed as a man, right, moved somewhere else and was basically, to all intents and purposes, treated as a man. Um, you know, had ha- facial hair as a consequence of testosterone balding and, and so on. And there was no sense in which she was uh, uh, being clocked or whatever, right? So so she was basically being treated uh, like as a man would be. And what was really revealing and interesting in this memoir, and the, and the memoirist said, didn't say that she would always thought she was a man or anything like that. But she said one of the things she noticed the most was that when she was a man or passed as a man, nobody cared about her feelings. Nobody gave a shit how she felt. Nobody opened doors for her. Like, people just didn't care. And it, she said it was very, very lonely. And I was like, wow, okay, so all this stuff about male privilege, and this is for someone who's basically had that experiment in their life, right, which is a very rare thing to to have. I mean, of course, it's anecdotal. Of course, it's a, you know, a memoir. But I, I was really struck by this comment. That actually, yeah. in reality, nobody gives, nobody cares about men's feelings, right? And and I, you know, I I hope that's not true in marriages and relationships and and so on. I don't think it can be true universally, but it was clearly in kind of employment situations, in public situations, this was the impression um, that there was something unwanted and and even off-putting about male emotion. Or male feeling. 